different setups and forms aren't necessarily wrong. It's mm -hmm. just like one's gonna allow you to do more than the other. This is just all about like helping you lift the most amount of weight possible. Cartagena Beats. extending yourself prematurely mm. and so what I mean by that is like you are in uh, a, like your benching position mm. but like before you even unrack the weight mm. and so what that's doing is like especially when it comes to like two three four hundred not that I freaking bench 400 pounds but like that tiny bit of like scapular protraction just by like the difference between here and here mm. is gonna be massive when it comes to how much weight you can move uh -huh. so what I want you to do is Set your grip, right? Get your upper back packed in, and you actually want to use the bar to help pack yourself into place, right? So you think about it like if I have 45 pounds of pressure against the bar, like in the bar's gonna move. So you want to put just enough to help yourself get into place, but not move the weight. Mm -hmm. So it's here, packing everything in, right? I'm physically pushing myself against the bar, mm -hmm. and now, like you see, like I haven't even set my feet yet. Mm -hmm. Whereas for you, you kind of like set yourself down first mm -hmm. and then you move the weight, All right. it's not gonna be quite as stable. So what I want you to do is um, shoot your hips up, freaking as high as you can, and then also squeeze your cheeks mm -hmm. to get them even higher, right? So obviously we have different mobilities, different forms, but the main thing is to shorten the distance between you and the bar, you have to get your hips up, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm not fully extended, squeeze the cheeks to get it even higher. Mm -hmm. So now, whereas before, you had this much distance, after I'm here, now you had that much distance. So now, versus here, if I have to overextend myself to unrack the bar, when I'm here, it's just a little bit. And that's how like people stay tight when they're doing the unrack. You do a freaking immaculate job of using your leg drive and pushing down and out, mm. but we need to have you wedge yourself into that position. Mm. So when you're here, set your grip, pack in the upper back, pressure against the bar, hips up high, squeeze the cheeks to get even higher. You're going to unwrap, do a lat pull down, just like you always do, that's perfect. Mm. And now when you settle your hips, it's down and out. Mm. And then you're also kind of like arching your back to set your butt down. Mm. Does that make sense so far? Yes. All right, so set your grip. Get your upper back packed in nice and tight. Good. Tiny bit of pressure against the bar to help get yourself into place. And now bring your feet in a little bit. Now I want you to shoot your hips up as high as you can to the point where now you're on your traps. Good. Oh. Now squeeze your cheeks to get yourself even higher. Nice. Now from here, you're going to unwrap the bar. Good, lat pull down, control it right there, nice. Now wedge your feet down and out and keep that pressure. And now slight arch in your back to settle your hips so you can keep that leg drive turned on. Yeah, it should, do, it should not be comfortable. And now come down and then press back towards the rack. Cool, you're right. Does all that make sense so far? Yeah. Is it uncomfortable? Yeah. Are you out of breath? A little bit. Yeah. That's how you know you're doing it right. <laughs> the last thing that I want you to focus on, I call it reaching for the bar. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Sweet Burns, have you heard of him? No. He's a freaking monster, look him up. Uh, I learned this cue from him. And it's basically like, if you want to really control everything and use your lats as much as possible, mm. it's not just scapular attraction, it's also depression. And it's the scapular depression that's gonna help you reach for the bar. So. What I mean by that, or what it actually looks like, right? myself packed in, boom, over, down here, right? Mm -hmm. This is cool, but then if I'm bringing the bar down, I also want to reach my sternum up as hard as possible. So think about growing the bar to yourself. Mm -hmm. Here, reach, 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 and I press. Uh, it's not gonna be comfortable, mm -hmm. but that's what's also gonna help keep your sternum up high. Yeah. All right. How is reps? We doing a full set of six or no? Sure. <laughs> you don't have to. No, it's good. Why not? Pinch, pinch, pinch. Sort of the way you like. Good. Squeeze the cheeks. Good. 
Good. Wedge and settle the hips. Good. Keep that sternum high. Keep that leg drive on. Press. Good. Sternum high. Come on. Yep. Press. Good. Sternum high. Let's go. Yes. Press. Good. Perfect. Press. Press. I think this is the last one. Press. Good. Re-rack. 